More so than ever, our residents and, and we are thinking more globally about what's our footprint in the world. Part of the value proposition we offer to our residents is all the green infrastructure that we can incorporate into a project. So it's both a core mission and a response, I think, to what our tenants demand. 190 parking stalls are all found underground. It was more expensive to do that, but what it allowed us to do was, again, maximize the amount of green space that we were able to create on site. So the green roofs sit on top of that underground parking in a manner that if you drove on site, you would never notice that all these buildings are, are actually connected with one underground parking. Some of that green space became rain gardens, some of it became butterfly gardens, but what it allowed us to do was create a lot more green space. We created a community park that's open to the public with walking trails and all that. But if you look at post-development runoff compared to pre-development existing condition, both our rate and volume is way less than it was despite the redevelopment. We were able to accomplish that and handle the area detention because of all the green infrastructure stuff like the ponds and green roof and native plantings.